Hey everyone, this is uh, Prashant. Uh, yesterday I built a small app in MIT App Inventor to translate English text to Spanish and uh, then speak it out. So let me show you uh, how that works. So for example, if I want to say uh, my house is your house to someone in Spanish, how would I say that? Um, so this is how we do it. Let me just type it out first. So it says my house is your house and then I want to translate it. So I click on the translate button uh, in here and it says, uh, I think it says mi casa e su casa. Now I'm not uh, sure how exactly that is spoken out. So what I want to do, what I, what I plan to do is I plan to click on the speak. Oh yeah, I, I clicked on the speak button and the app speaks it out for me. So, mi casa es su casa. I hope you're able to hear that. It says uh, mi casa es su casa. I think I said it pretty, pretty clearly. Let me, let me do that once more. Mi casa es su casa. Okay, that's pretty close. So this is a, uh, an interesting app that uses the translation API from uh, a service. And it also uses the text to speech API using, the, using another, another service. And uh, the, the beautiful thing is, uh, you can actually build something like this in, say, five minutes. I mean, the, and actually package it and uh, publish it on Google Play. Um, and uh, if you build a very sophisticated version of it, uh, from any language to any language translation, uh, you might be even able to sell it and make money out of it. So let me show you uh, how you can do that using Android App Inventor. Now this used to be with Google, now it's with MIT, uh, but the tool is exactly the same. It's called, it used to be called Android App Inventor, now it's called MIT App Inventor. And I'm building something, I, I built many apps on this a uh, couple of years back. Now I'm building, um, I'm looking at this almost after a year and uh, it has improved quite a bit. So this is the UI where you build the interface. I mean this interface. This is a pretty simple rudimentary interface, but uh, this is how you build it. You can make it pretty sophisticated if you'd like. So the first one is the field, text field, where you type things, and this is how you do it. You uh, drag and drop the text box from here, and then you put it here. And uh, then you drag and drop. The so next is a button, and so for, for that what you do is you just drag and drop the button from here and put it here and, re and name it to translate. It's pretty straightforward. For the text um, for the text label you just uh, go ahead and uh, bring a label from here and put it here and then name it text in Spanish and for the speak button you again bring another button and, and name it speak so to set the properties of the buttons you can do it on the right side they're all on here for example, the speak button, you know, click on the speak button and then you can change things, uh, you know, change the label and so on from here. So that's the UI. Now, how do you how do you build the functionality? Now, before we build the functionality, there are a couple of things that you need to drag and drop. The first one is the translation API or the translation service component, which is called the um, Yandex Translate. And for that, you go here and under media click on media and drag this one and it's translate and, I, and you put it here and it's not a ui component so it'll show up here it's called uh, under non-visible components so i'm just going to I, i've already had it there so i'm not going to do that and the next one you need to do is the text to speech component which is also here under media so text to speech component so you drag and drop that here and uh, you know that's how you have you add those non-visible components there so we have our ui components and this one now next thing is we need to go to the blocks area which is where you build the logic for it and you start building the logic now in here i've already built the logic for it so if you remember the first thing we need to do is when you click that button called uh, button one uh, basically the translate button uh, you need to uh, request translation 
from uh, you, you need to, you need to request translation from English to Spanish. So English to Spanish is uh, E N dash E S. So I'll explain where you can get those codes from. You know you can look up the API documentation and you can get that. And then we want to look at the text box and feed that text that I typed in there to this translation engine. So that's what this means. Um, so this is how we build. And then then the next step is uh, once the translation engine uh, gives you back the text you want to set the label uh, of uh, you know set the text of the label called label one to that translated text so we uh, in here we fed my house is your house and then when it uh, returned the spanish version of the text saying mi casa es su casa you set that to that label so and then then the, the next thing is uh, there is the speak button where you want to uh, you want the speech uh, the text to speech engine to speak that out um, so um, first of all you set the language uh, you tell the engine that the language is spanish and uh, the code for spanish is spa and then uh, whatever is there in this label text whatever text is there in this label you feed that to the text to speak engine to speak it out so that is actually pretty straightforward, isn't it? I mean, it's, that's all you need to do. And um, let me show you how this whole thing can be built. Let's build this from scratch. And let's set this thing on the other side. And let's build this from scratch. So the first one is the first button. Uh, and all the buttons that we built uh, are here. So I call the uh, translate button as button one. I could have called a translate, I guess, but I just didn't. I was lazy. Um, so you click on that, and uh, the first thing you do is when button one dot click, you, you want the system to do something. So you just drag and drop that here, saying when button one dot click. And then the next thing you want to do is you want the translation engine to be called. So you click on the translation component, index translate dot one, and um, you want you drag this and say call the translation engine which is called index one to translate and then you want to set the text language translate to text to uh, text uh, translation from english to spanish so to do that what you need to do is you need to go and click on the text component and drag and drop this uh, simple text and then you type uh, e n dash uh, e s and this is the code and basically you're just setting the setting it text and text to translate to is um, to be to be uh, you know to be fetched from the uh, text box one so go and click on text box text box one here and you say text box one dot text look for something called text box one dot text where is it um, yeah that's right there text box one dot text so just drag that and and put that in here so that's it i mean the translation is done uh, and uh, the system will uh, send you back the translated text so when you when you get the translated text back you want that to be displayed in some area otherwise you won't know where it is so um, for, for that you do this one when uh, translation you know when uh, yandex translate dot got translation drag and drag that component here you know when the translation is returned um, what you need to do is you need to you want you want to set the label that was below so click on that one label and uh, say set label text so where is set label text yeah here, here it is so set label uh, dot uh, text to uh, get translation so from from in from here where is get translation hmm, interesting oh you uh, you don't have to drag that here so this 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 is where you need to do you can you click here and uh, 
take this component and say get translation. So what this means is uh, the get the translated text and then display it in this particular label. So set the text of this label to the translation to the, to the translated text. So that's what that means. Um, so we've translated. The, we've done the first part of the of the uh, mobile app, and this itself is a useful useful function. Now we want to make it speak as well. So uh, the next thing we need to do is we need to click on speak and uh, say when this button called speak is clicked. That is this one. You know, this one. When you, when I click on it, so when I click or touch that button we want the system to speak out um, the text so uh, for that first thing we need to do is set the language so we click on text to speech and uh, here you say set text to speech language to uh, Spanish so for that what you need to do is you need to go and click on the text and drag and drop this component and uh, put it here and you click there and you type SPA. SPA is the code for Spanish and uh, the code for other languages you can get from the documentation. And the next thing you need to do is you want to call the text to speak engine and ask the engine to speak it out. So here we go text to speech and go there and say call text to speech, uh, drag and drop that here and say speak out this message. Now, where is that message? And that message is in has been set to label one dot text. So let's go to label one. And whatever text is there in label one, we want that text to be spoken out. So drag and drop that one here. So that's it. So you have built an app. Let's see how the app works. Come again here. Um, and let's type something something else. My house is uh, is empty. What the A M P T Y? My house is empty. So what? How? What does that mean in Spanish? Uh, okay. Now this one. Uh, let me just reset this one because I think I added some extra code there. So we'll. I'm gonna dump all that code. And now let's try this again. My house is empty. Yeah, so it says, well, I don't know what that means, but uh, let me see how it's spoken out. Mi casa está vacía. Okay, that's what it means. So, um, hope that helps. And, uh, you know, try and build something uh, on top of this and, uh, um, you know, make it more sophisticated if you'd like to. Thanks for your time. Appreciate it.